Hi guys, Sam Shears here. Today I'm here with another video and uh, I'm going to talk about iCloud Bypass, what it is and uh, what you need to know about its ups and downs. So there's a couple of companies that came out with the iCloud Bypass solution recently <clears throat> and their services are being offered by a lot of people um, on Craigslist, eBay and many other places um, for various prices online. So I just want to let you guys know that these solutions are offered here for free by these websites uh, you're more than welcome to try them at home if you wish to and before I get started I just want to say that I know I in no way endorse these products nor do I support or am in any way affiliated with these uh, products or their makers so I'm just here to give you guys the information as to what to and not to do so the first company I'm going to uh, let you guys know about is the uh, the Lucy team I think it's that's how it's pronounced, but um, it's right here. So these guys are the first ones that came up with this this uh, solution. <clears throat> Excuse me, because this is a this is basically a security flaw they discovered, and so what they did was they created a software that you download and install on your computer, and it connects to their server when it's online. And uh, so basically, when it is online, it lets you activate the device, thinking, sorry by making the device think that it is connecting to Apple servers and getting the go ahead sign when in fact it's connected to these guys and what happens with that is that um, it temporarily activates the device <clears throat> excuse me so you could use it um, you could use the iPhone 5, 5C, 5S and iPod, as an iPod and the iPads you can use it as an iPad obviously uh, but the cellular service cellular service on any of the devices will not work at all in any way because once again this is not an official solution this is not something that's you know um, activated by Apple so in order for the cellular service to work Apple would have to allow it and in order for that uh, you know you'd have to do it with your account whatever account that the iCloud originally is locked with on this device so these solutions are temporary at the end of the day I mean they you know they make the device a little bit more useful than being a paperweight but at the end of the day it's not something that's tempor uh, that's permanent and it's not something that's gonna last right now it works on iOS 7.1.1 and I'm sure Apple in the next release is going to address the security issue and uh, block it much like they do with jailbreaks and uh, definitely will block in iOS 8 for sure because there's no way they can let this security flaw go on for too long and uh, again at the end of the day it is a security flaw it's there and it puts people's devices and their information at risk so that is why it will get shut down so for the time being um, I'm seeing just I'm just seeing a lot of people being confused uh, you know being told with all these activation gods that are claiming to have found a solution that are charging people a ton of money to do this uh, it's free you know it's right here right in front of you if you want to give it a try go ahead you download a software you know you you wait for the server to come online you connect and you try to activate your device if it works it works if it doesn't then it doesn't and you know you could try again the next time uh, another website is gadgetwide.com these guys basically copied the other guys which is these guys uh, so these guys copied them and they created their own software this is a little bit different <clears throat> uh, from my understanding uh, this software it runs off of your device rather than rather than uh, connecting to an external server and uh, it tries to activate the device and you basically just continuously um, keep trying on all your devices if you succeed you succeed if not then you know you just keep trying and that's it so this is the other website that does it again it's absolutely free you do not need to spend a single dollar on it you don't need to pay anybody to do it you simply install the software on your computer and I do want to say that you do it at your own risk because at the end of the day nobody really knows what kind of security um, issues these softwares expose your personal data or your devices to because um, whenever you install something from the internet such as like this you know they are collecting some information and sending some information to your devices and we don't know what that information is because nobody really makes it clear so for all you know they might be taking a little more than they are giving you so these are the two websites two solutions um, 
that some people say they are working and these, this is what you pay for. I mean, when somebody charges you $50 on Craigslist to bypass your activation iLock, this is what it is. They charge you for this. They take your computer or laptop, they take your iPad or iPhone to the back room and they basically just try to brute force it with these websites. And if it goes through, they charge you the money. So why not just try it at home and see if it works for you rather than wasting money. And uh, so again, these are uh, temporary solutions. They will not stick. They will not last because if you ever restore your device through iTunes, it's going to be getting that signal back from Apple saying that this device is iCall lock and then you're going to be back to square one and back to being that device a paperweight and nothing more. Basically, um, as much as an educational, um, you know, informational video this is, I'm just warning you guys that, you know, it's not worth wasting your money. If you did get screwed over by somebody because you bought an iDevice from them and then it turned out to be iCloud Lock, I mean, the best thing I would say, just sell it for parts. Don't try to, you know, waste your money on these temporary solutions because they're not going to last. Because sooner or later down the road, you'll make a mistake of updating the software and then you'll be back down to this. And if you know, there's no solution available like this, <coughs> excuse me, and then your device is going to become paperweight later on, so why not just do something about it now and, you know, take a lesson learned and move positively forward. And, uh, I think uh, I covered just the simple details about the software. Um, if you guys have any questions or you want to, you know, is there, any, is there anything you didn't understand you want to know more about? I will do my best to try to explain this to you guys, uh, try to answer all your questions. Um, before I go, I do want to add that I did not try any of these softwares, so I can't speak for how successful they are and um, how well they will work and if there's any you know, um, issues with them not working and whatnot. Uh, I wouldn't be able to really give you a 100% answer on that because I haven't tried them. I've not had any need for them to, uh, to try these softwares on any devices. <clears throat> so for that reason I mean I wouldn't be able to answer th those types of questions but if there's anything else in general I can help you with uh, do let me know and I'll do my best to answer for you guys so that's really about it uh, I hope you guys like the video hope it's helpful to you guys in one way or another and uh, please do rate comment and subscribe to my video my channel and uh, thank you for watching have a great day